Hello everyone, I'm the Display Lady and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about digital cutters, which one's the best for you and um, what they all can do. So without further ado, let's get into it. So in terms of transparency, the first digital cutter that I purchased myself was the Silhouette Portrait 2. Uh, which is this one, it's kind of a medium sized cutter and um, it's not sort of the top of the range one and it was pretty cheap so that's why I picked this one. Um, following that I had the Cricut Joy which was kindly gifted to me by Cricut so this one was a gifted product and then last but not least I bought myself my Cricut Maker so this wasn't gifted um, I bought that pretty recently and it's kind of a top of the range Cricut machine. So the first thing to note is it's important to think about what it is you're actually wanting to achieve with your digital cutter in order to decide which one it is that's best for you and also your price range. So for example this cutter is a similar price to this cutter, obviously it's a different make but it's important to consider if you want to be cutting A4 then probably this one will be better than that one for example. So we'll work through each of the models in the range, we'll start with the Cricut Joy, we'll work through this one's very similar to the Explore Air 2 and I'll tell you the similarities and differences and then obviously we'll move to the top of the range uh, maker. So starting with the Cricut Joy, it's nice and compact so it's really easy to store and um, you don't need a lot of space to craft with it so that's a definite plus for the Cricut Joy. It um, cuts cards quite easily, vinyls it's great for, um, stuff like that for little kind of crafts and um, I would say that you know it's great for making basic labels and um, so it'll draw with the pen and then it'll cut a basic shape around it. If you want you to do more advanced stickers like I make personally then this isn't the machine for you because it doesn't do print and cut. You need to be able to do print and cut to make sort of the um, colourful stickers. So I'd say if you wanted to make stickers, probably not this machine. But if you wanted to do vinyls and iron-ons and um, card making and things like that, then that one's just perfect for you. So the middle of the range one, this is a silhouette portrait. It would be the Explorer 2 if you wanted the Cricut range. And this can cut A4, they both can cut A4, both the Explorer and the Silhouette Portrait do A4 paper. Um, so on this one I've made the stickers that I make, on, um, that I sell. Um, you can make stickers with the Explorer too as well, and with the Maker, and with the Silhouette Cameo, which is more akin to this machine. They all make stickers because they all have print and cut. The difference between print and cut on silhouette and on, on silhouette and on cricket is that you've kind of got a bit more precision as to where the cuts go with the silhouette software than you do with the cricket software. So with cricket software, when you're making stickers, you can add a bleed to the sticker to make a kind of an edge. Whereas with the portrait software, you can literally leave the white space around the edges. I haven't worked out if you can do that with the cricket yet, so if you can please let me know in the comments because I'd love to know about that. I can't work out how to do it. <laughs> so that would be nice to know. I don't know if you can. Um, if I was going to describe the differences between sort of the middle of the range and the, the higher end one, which one you should go for, if you wanted to cut sort of thicker um, materials like wood and things like that, um, like balsa wood or chipboard, then you would need this machine. The Explorer 2 and, and sort of the portrait will not cut sort of thick material like that. Um, so the middle of the range ones are great for things like vinyls, they're great for card, if you want to cut out lettering for your displays like this, perfect. Little butterflies, you can do that, you can probably cut out little butterflies with that, but obviously it's not A4. And um, to make the paper flowers, you want this kind of, at least this middle sized one or the Maker. So you want these two or the Explorer 2 or the Cameo if you want to go for the Silhouette range, that's your choice. Um, but yeah, to make the paper flowers, you want one of those because you need to cut it for. Um, other things it can cut, um, so like the sticker paper because you can print and cut, so it cuts that no problem. 
and uh, thicker cardstock it will cut as well um, but yeah for more advanced materials um, like fabrics as well then you definitely need the maker uh, or the cameo I think will also probably cut that for you. Um, if I was going to describe sort of the differences between the Silhouette range and the Cricut range I'd kind of describe them as like Apple versus Android so the, the Cricut range is very Apple so it's kind of it's user friendly you can like grab it and go you know really quick easy projects on there where it just tells you basically watch through the steps like put this card in put this tool in here so it has like the two tool capabilities in this one um, so you can add a pen and a cutter and you can cut and draw all the card all at the same time and it tells you exactly what to do that's great for that the portrait is a bit more like android like you can kind of change exactly where things go it's a little bit more complicated to use the software but once you've got the hang of it you can do a little bit more a little bit more precisely so that's kind of the difference there's like apple versus android in my opinion that's just my likening in my own brain so that's what i think to that um the maker obviously is more expensive so you've got to factor in if you are going to use all those extra things just for the sake of owning the maker are you actually going to cut wood or fabric because if not then you might as well go for the explorer or the portrait because it's more of the middle of the range it's not as expensive and you don't really need the extra features that this is capable of but if you're going to be making things to sell and you know you're going to want to do those kind of projects then definitely go for this one uh, i must say like it's the best sort of venture i've gone into as a teacher to, even though i just had this one it was perfect for what i needed really at the time just cutting letters just cutting you know petals out cutting out the little butterflies these are actually from the the images on cricket these little butterflies so they have like stock images they were free so I just cut them out using cardstock, so it was really easy on this machine, but again, the Explorer Air would have cut those out as well, so you don't need to go for that one necessarily. Um, so hopefully I've sort of given you a little bit of a taste, a flavour of all different, all the different uh, cutting machines that are available to you. Um, you just need to consider which one you think would be the most useful to you. Something to something to note for all of the machines is that you will need tools to work with them. So Cricut have their own set of um, little tools that come in a little set. These are important to get for weeding and um, for also like rubbing the um, for rubbing the back of the vinyls and things you'll need. These sorts of tools um, and Cricut have their own line. You, you don't have to get Cricut's line if you buy a silhouette. You can obviously get just non-branded ones that are sold. And um, yeah, you'll need the mats and things in order to use the machine. So it's not just the machine that's a purchase. For all of them, you do need mats. So do consider that as an additional purchase. I think it's best to get them in a bundle. Um, that's what I did, I bought this in a bundle. Um, so I've got mats and I've got some vinyls and things like that so it's great and it comes with like a pre-made starter project for you so you can just do your first project really quickly using the little materials that they send and it's really easy to get started whereas the, sil the silhouettes don't really come with any sort of starter thing you've kind of got to figure it out I watched a lot of YouTube <laughs> so yeah definitely a little bit more like pick it up and go for the cricket versus the silhouette it's not so pick it up and go you've got to really tweak around with it but again you're going to get a different result so um definitely something to consider when you're purchasing a cutting machine is the accessories you will need there's lots of places where you can get the vinyls from obviously you can buy the cricket official vinyl and i think that would probably be a good idea if you're getting the joy because of the size of the um the cutting area the, the Cricut Joy specific vinyls and things fit perfectly so you don't need to worry about will it fit so I recommend buying the official ones for this one whereas these cut A4 so you don't need to worry too much this will cut bigger than A4 in fact so if you want in bigger vinyls than A4 then you definitely want to be thinking about going to the maker rather than the explorer or the portrait so that's something additional to consider <laughs> I'm probably jumping all over with this video but hopefully I'm giving you enough information to make a decision which cut is best for you. Um, if you're a teacher, you want to cut lettering, you want to cut things for your displays, I'd say go for the middle middle ground. 
um, you're just going to be cutting paper, cutting stickers, things like that. Definitely want print then cut, so you want to go for either the Explorer Air 2 or the Silhouette Portrait in my opinion. So those are the, that's where I'd say you need to, to be aiming for. So yeah, hopefully you found this video interesting and um, if you want to leave any questions in the comment section below I will try my best to answer any of them. If I missed anything out, I'm really sorry. Uh, can I blame baby brain? I don't know. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!